Hey gang, it's Steve with Guitar Center. We're at NAMM 2020. We're hanging out in the Den and DJ booth with Rick. We're checking out the new Prime 2 and Prime Go. How you doing, Rick? Good, thank you. Uh, so we've seen a lot of success with the Prime 4. Is this sort of uh, the uh, you know the extension of that line? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the Prime 4 has been a very successful product for us. Uh, we really harness the power of a standalone system. And, uh, you know, the market seems to be uh, receptful of that. And it's, we seem to be riding this wave on the standalone technology. So, yeah, man, it, it makes complete sense for us to start to build out that range and make it more affordable uh, for more customers. So, yeah, as you mentioned, the Prime 4, you know, the real powerhouse behind that system, you know, what's the screen and the technology going on inside it? And at NAM, we've announced what we're calling Engine OS. And this is our ever-evolving platform. So. We want you to buy into the hardware, but we want to continually give you value through the software. So hopefully, you know, just like your iPhone, you might have an iPhone 8, but iOS 11 comes out, so you're still getting this constant value. So we might think of some cool new feature for another product, and then we're going to port it over, and everybody's hardware is going to have this continual uh, value added to them. So yeah, we've inherited the same engine OS from uh, the Prime 4. Prime 2, and now, yeah, the Prime Go, which is our bottom uh, of the range at the moment. But Prime for us means no compromise, so there's absolutely no compromise in quality uh, on the Prime Go. So can you describe for me sort of uh, maybe like the profile of the user who would be going for the Go versus the 2? Yeah, you know, it's going to be super interesting. You know, I, I think it's kind of quite easy with the Prime 2. We've had good success with the Prime 4 uh, with the mobile community. So I'm pretty certain some mobile guys will pick up on it. I'm pretty certain it'll find its way into some, some bedroom DJs and maybe some installations in some small bars and stuff because it can import uh, USB, record box collections, Serato databases, et cetera. You know, it's kind of really open, uh, ready for any type of media or, or source. So yeah, the interesting one's gonna be the Go, you know, because it is, you know, oh, because it is battery powered. This is the uh, audio lead that you guys are using. You know, it's the world's first battery powered piece of DJ hardware. You know, it's got a four hour battery life, takes about six hours to charge. Yeah, you know, this this might be a, a great piece for a mobile DJ that, that's got its main setup in the reception room, but maybe needs to do a bit of a, a cocktail hour. You know, imagine all of the Burning Man festivals. You know, I can imagine a professional DJ prepping, prepping his music. I can imagine somebody who's just interested in becoming a, a DJ and has, has a, a bit of disposable income but doesn't have any music so we can access all of our streaming services like Tidal because they curate loads of playlists so there's really no barriers to entry into this hardware you know we've got the music there we've got the hardware it's battery powered so yeah it's completely mobile so I can't give you an answer there so yeah it's, it's kind of set its own new category and we haven't really got any definition around that yet so it's going to be interesting so let's get into a little bit of the specs if we just sort of go left to right here um, what are the uh, you know the knobs and functions so the main thing you're going to see straight away is the screen so this is a multi-touch screen uh, just like our prime 4 uh, and our Prime 2, but this now has a 7-inch screen as where the Prime 4 had the 10-inch screen. So users familiar with this style of uh, a navigation, yeah, nothing has changed. So it just harnesses the same operating system. We've got integration with Tidal, so yeah, you can search for music that you don't necessarily have. You know, think of those uh, weddings where you get somebody asking you for a request, you can instantly access it. Uh, yeah, super, super powerful. And then from a hardware point of view, yeah, we've got the little small jog wheel, so full scratch control. Uh, we've got the hot, uh, the performance pads, so you can do hot cues to kind of jump around the track. We've got loops, so you can call up loop points, so you can skip to cool sections of the track quickly. Uh, the roll, so you can repeat things to kind of a performance style. And, and then onto uh, three band EQ, Pretty simple there. The effects engine, uh, which is assignable across both channels, so you can start to layer some nice additive sounds over the top of your tracks. And then uh, two microphone inputs, uh, combi input on the back. So yeah, again, perfect for a mobile DJ, you know. And yeah, the looping controls, the browse controls. On the front, you've got an SD card slot. 
So, you know, you could put in like a terabyte's worth of music in there. So you shouldn't have to really add any more music in there. Uh, and then round the back, yeah, no compromise on the I.O. with a USB-A for normal USB music, USB-B for connecting to a computer, and then a LAN port for connecting it into our sound switch technology, XLR outputs for professional connectivity, and then balanced auxiliary inputs. So super loaded uh, front to back. So yeah, it's going to be super exciting to see where this, this ends up. But I'd love to see it at Burning Man or something. That would yeah. be super cool. Yeah, I mean, you load up your music on a USB, you load this in your backpack, you're good to go. Yeah, the only problem with Burning Man, maybe not so much uh, good internet connection. So yeah, maybe you'll have to use the USB. Either USB that or card. a lot yeah. of dust in the pots. Right, sure, sure. All right, so let's move up to the two then and yep. see what we got there. Uh, yeah, so coming off the back of the success of the Prime 4, it kind of only made sense that we introduced uh, a two-channel version of the Prime 4. So sure, even though it's a two-channel version, there's again no compromise in quality. As I said, Prime means no compromise to us, and yeah, we've ensured that we've kept our premium build quality and all of the features we can for the price point. So yeah, obviously uh, two channels as opposed to four, uh, like on the Prime 4, so you don't have that dual deck mode, but for me personally, I don't necessarily, I don't need four decks, so this is the unit that I'm gonna have at home. And the obvious thing is the screen. So it was the 10 inch screen on the Prime 4, and just the seven inch screen on the Prime 2. Uh, but yeah, man, a seven inch screen is still pretty, it's, it's the iPad mini size, so it's still enough. Uh, and then from an ins and outs point of view, uh, we've just got the one USB-A port for playing back your music off USB, uh, the one SD card slot if you prefer playing music from an SD card, and then from a microphone point of view, uh, on the Prime 4, uh, we had a two-channel, three-band EQ microphone. Still two channels, uh, but just a shared EQ. Same effects engines for layering and manipulating your music, but no OLED display. And then professional connectivity on the, on the rear, but the main difference is that there's no line input, so for other external sources, you don't have as much freedom, but Again, the whole point of this is that it's standalone capability. So, uh, you know, why do you need to be plugging in something else? So, yeah, super powerful. And yeah, it's super exciting to see that we've really capitalized on the success of the Prime 4. Uh, we're building out this engine operating system down the range and trying to make it more accessible to all different types of DJs. So, yeah, this is only the start and we're, we're going to continue building out the range. All right, cool. So coming soon to a Guitar Center near you, the new Dan and DJ Prime Go and Prime 2. Keep checking GuitarCenter.com for more new from Nam.